All right, so in this video, I'm going to detail how I integrate Cypress into my everyday development workflow. In terms of steps, I'm going to start by converting the user stories, requirements, and acceptance criteria into partial test steps. I'll then add fixtures, stub out the network calls, and then run the Cypress GUI, and I'll keep it open next to me as I'm coding. And then in terms of the actual development process, I'll use that only to focus and iterate on a single test. We'll then ensure that test fails. We'll then go through the normal red green refactor of test driven development, and I'll repeat that for each test. And then finally, and this is optional, I'll convert the integration test to end end tests by removing the network stubs. All right, so in step one, uh, I'll start by converting the user stories, requirements, and acceptance criteria into partial test specs. So you can see the actual specs here. And then I also added some configuration. Next, in step two, we'll add the fixture files. So there are three fixture files. All before will be used for getting all to-dos, add will be used for adding a to-do, and then all after will be used for getting all to-dos again after a to-do has been added. Moving right along, in step three, let's look at how to stub out the Ajax requests. And so here we added in stubs for the get and the post requests. And so next I'll open up the Cypress GUI and I'll keep it open next to the code editor as I code. And so you can see the Cypress GUI here, and I'm just going to run all the test specs to make sure that they fail. So now I'll go through the basic development process of isolating a test, ensuring that test fails, and then adding the code to get that test to pass. And let's start with the displaying of the to-dos. So the test should fail, as expected. Now I'll go ahead and add the code to get that to pass to that app component. And finally, the test should now pass. So in this spec, we'll work on adding a new to-do to the list. And again, the test should fail. I'll add the code to get it to pass. Now the test should pass. And in the final test spec, I'll add the ability to mark a to-do complete. And so the test fails, and I'll add the code, and it magically should pass. And so in the final step, we'll, I'll convert the integration tests over to end-to-end -end tests by removing the network stubs so that the actual AJAX requests hit the Flask backend. So I created a new to-do E-to-E spec and refactored some of the tests. Let's run them to see if they pass. And they do. Nice. All right, so that's all I have. Thanks again.